Well, we welcome you to Monday Night Raw. We want to take you to some action that happened backstage earlier today. Yet another brawl breaking out between Solo Sokoa and Bobby Lashley ahead of their no-holds-barred match at WrestleMania. And as you can see, the street champ Solo Sokoa getting the best of the almighty Bobby Lashley. Luckily for Lashley, of what we understand, he has not walked away with any further damage done. Lashley has obviously been through a lot with Solo over the last couple of weeks alone on his road to WrestleMania. And even though Solo left Lashley laying in the backstage area earlier today, all roads lead to later tonight here on Monday Night Raw, where the Almighty has insisted he will continue to compete on his road to the grandest stage. A rematch from a couple of weeks ago that Lashley requested one-on-one -on -one with a monster among monsters, Braun Strowman. What condition will Lashley be in as this matchup headlines Monday Night Raw coming up in your main event later tonight. Monday Night Roll is live tonight in the Ball Arena, Denver, Colorado. Less than two weeks until WrestleMania. And less than two weeks until the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, battles the self-proclaimed King of Pro Wrestling, CM Punk, a battle for the rightful title of Best in the World. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke Nakamura made his intentions clear a number of weeks ago here on Monday Night Raw. He laid out CM Punk with not one, not two, but three King Shasas leaving CM Punk staring at the lights in the middle of the ring. But just 48 hours ago at Saturday night's main event, Nakamura, his bumpy road, if you will, to WrestleMania continuing. He was the one taking the pinfall in that tag team matchup alongside Seth Rollins against Kevin Owens and CM Punk. I'll bite Owens through a little bit of everything at Nakamura, but Shinsuke Nakamura still saw his shoulders getting pinned just 48 hours ago. How will that fare with Nakamura's confidence and his mindset? Not only tonight, but heading into WrestleMania in less than two weeks' time. Nonetheless, Shinsuke Nakamura in action to kick things off in Denver, Colorado against R-Truth, who just a few weeks ago pushed the Intercontinental Champion LA Knight, maybe not to his limits, but gave him a fight. R-Truth looking to do the same to Shinsuke Nakamura here tonight. We are live on Monday Night Raw and tensions are certainly riding a high. We are less than two weeks away from WrestleMania. Saturday night, March the 2nd and Sunday night, March the 3rd, both live at 5 p.m. Eastern time. Or as we mentioned, Shinsuke Nakamura will go one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever against CM Punk. Nakamura threw down the gauntlet a few weeks ago. CM Punk might have stuck it to Nakamura in a sense at Saturday night's main event, but as we talked about in great length 48 hours ago, it is a whole different story when it is one-on-one -on -one at the grandest stage of them all. Nakamura told WWE.com that this was about one thing and one thing only, and that is becoming the true heir to the name best in the world, if you will. All remains to be seen what is going to happen at WrestleMania, but we can tell you later tonight here in the Ball Arena, we got some huge action on hand as Montez Ford set to take on Jimmy Uso. And after the Street Profits laid out the Usos last week on Raw, certainly an interesting situation developing there as the Usos approach their World Tag Team title match against the Judgment Day on WrestleMania Saturday. Nonetheless, Nakamura all over our truth Nakamura looking to send a message here tonight to CM Punk ahead of their clash at WrestleMania. CM Punk has still got to be fired up. He got a little bit of a taste of Nakamura on Saturday. 
But obviously after getting left with not one, not two, but three emphatic King Shasas in the middle of that squared circle a number of weeks ago, CM Punk looking to stick it to Shinsuke Nakamura once and for all at the grandest stage. Nakamura has not taken very kindly to the pageantry, if you will, of CM Punk's return. All the adulation he has received since the Royal Rumble. Nakamura believes it belongs to him. And Shinsuke also believes that the king, the crown, if you will, of professional wrestling, that is his heir. Nakamura looking to prove he is the true best in the world. CM Punk has earned that title. Nakamura looking to take it away at WrestleMania. Meanwhile, our truth trying to give Shinsuke Nakamura the fight for his life here tonight in the ball arena. Nakamura out to make a statement tonight, was controlling the majority of this matchup so far. Our truth not looking to be a stepping stone on Shinsuke's path to the show of shows. However, the king of strong style has just been a little bit more vicious as of late, ever since he threw down the proverbial gauntlet against CM Punk. Nakamura all over our truth truth to try to mount a comeback that time. Nakamura had other plans. It's going to be a hot and heavy night here in the ball arena. As we mentioned, Montez Ford one-on-one -on -one with Jimmy Uso. Plus that massive main event. The almighty Bobby Lashley wanted a rematch with the monster among monsters, Braun Strowman. They clashed in the lead up to the elimination chamber. Braun Strowman picked up the victory. Lashley has not forgotten. And as Lashley approaches that no-holds-barred collision with Solo Sokoa on WrestleMania Sunday, the Almighty looking to get his victory back. They will clash in tonight's main event. Lashley, bit of a homecoming for him here in Col Colorado this evening. Should be very interesting to see what's going to happen when those two monsters collide. Meanwhile, Nakamura bringing this fight back inside the squared circle in our truth the proverbial puppet for Nakamura right now on the shoulders, Death Valley driver by the King of Strong Style. Sat out with it too, Nakamura putting his own twist on that maneuver and R-Truth is feeling the brunt of this message trying to be sent by Nakamura tonight. Shinsuke knows CM Punk's eyes are locked on this collision. Shinsuke knows CM Punk is trying to get in a last minute scouting report before WrestleMania. And Nakamura, that message once again being sent. A King Shasta delivered, dead center of the ring. CM Punk felt three of those knees just a few weeks ago, and I'm sure he just watched one once again be delivered here tonight. Nakamura coming to the ball arena tonight with one mission in mind, victory and absolutely domination all the way through. Nakamura making a profound statement on the road to WrestleMania when he collides with CM Punk, who is truly going to be known as the best in the world. Here's your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura making his presence felt here on Monday Night Raw. You gotta wonder what is gonna come next on the road to WrestleMania for, wait a minute, CM Punk. CM Punk in the ring and going after Nakamura. You can't blame the self-proclaimed king of pro wrestling. Well, Nakamura jumped Punk from behind a number of weeks ago. And as we mentioned, the tag team collision at Saturday night's main event was only a taste of what's to come between these two men. CM Punk never has been afraid to get his hands dirty and it's certainly not gonna start here tonight. Sending Nakamura to the outside and CM Punk looking to get his pound of flesh before we even get to AT&T Stadium. Tope Suicida shot out like a cannon. Nakamura's got no idea what hit him. CM Punk coming for his revenge tonight in Denver, Colorado. The best in the world, dropping Nakamura at ringside. An attack that I'm sure CM Punk has been pondering week after week ever since Nakamura struck. Well, with Shinsuke Nakamura's adrenaline's flowing, just got the victory moments ago here on Raw, and CM Punk might have struck at the wrong time. Getting sent right into the barricade. We still don't know if those Three King Shasta's to CM Punk a number of weeks ago did any sort of damage. Oh, wait a minute. Shinsuke Nakamura's got his eyes peeled on CM Punk. There's a counter that time. CM Punk came for a fight. 
These guys brought in the aisle way. Punk once again dropping Nakamura on his dome. But Shinsuke giving CM Punk the fight he wanted. These two are out to prove who is the best in the world from bell to bell at WrestleMania. But tonight, a pier six brawl to try to get the edge before the show of shows. Nakamura with a King Shasa out in the aisle way. CM Punk wanted to get the upper hand. Nakamura made him pay. We're back live here in Denver, Colorado, and representing the Brawling Brutes, Ridge Holland is set for action. We're going to take you back to last week here on Raw when the Brawling Brutes were met with the surprise of Baron Corbin resurfacing on Monday nights and teaming up with the Harbinger of Doom, carrying Cross. And that duo certainly brought Doom upon the Brawling Brutes as they were out for vengeance. After what Karrion Cross did to Sheamus a number of weeks ago, unfortunately for the Brutes, Baron Corbin brought the end of days for Butch and Ridge Holland. But Ridge Holland tonight back in action. He wants Karrion Cross one on one. You remember what Holland did to Joe Gacy a few weeks ago, giving Gacy a taste of his own medicine. Using the steel steps, putting Joe Gacy through the announce table. Ridge Holland, as well as the bruiserweight Butch, have not forgotten about what this man and his cronies have done to pick apart the brawling brutes. And it really took a turn three weeks ago here on Raw. Carrying Cross one-on-one -on -one with the Celtic warrior Sheamus. Cross was not interested in victory. He used Sheamus to send a message to the Monday Night Raw locker room just after Cross came up short at the Elimination Chamber. Sending Sheamus through the announce table, but the beatdown did not end there as Cross used the steel chair, steel steps as well, and laid out the Celtic warrior right here at ringside. Well, Sheamus has been on the shelf ever since, and this has obviously lit a fire under the bruiserweight Butch, as well as Rich Holland. Both of the running buddies of Sheamus and the Brawling Brutes looking to get even with Karrion Cross. Unfortunately, the Harbinger of Doom and company have just been in the driver's seat. Well, Karrion Cross out for singles action tonight. Joe Gacy has been on the shelf as well as Sheamus ever since being put through the announce table a few weeks ago. Cross coming down here alongside Scarlett. Ridge coming down here alone. I expect fireworks in this matchup. The Harbinger of Doom just gets more dangerous and sinister as the weeks go on here on Raw. I know Ridge Holland wants to get that measure of retribution for the Celtic Warrior, his mentor Sheamus. But he better have been careful. He may have bit off more than he can chew. But that cold-hearted son of a bitch. Nonetheless, Karrion Cross, Ridge Holland set the lock horns here tonight. You saw what happened last week. Baron Corbin, the pinfall victory over Butch in the tag team affair. Tonight is one-on-one. -on -one. Who will be the victor? Bell has sound that we are underway, and Ridge Holland Similar note to what we saw a few weeks ago against Joe Gacy, hot out of the gate. Ridge Holland, the protege of the Celtic warrior Sheamus, reaching about a year ever since he joined the Monday Night Raw roster, and he continues to make waves every time that bell sounds. Carrion Cross thrown out the ringside. I don't think he was expecting the explosive opening from Ridge the Fridge here tonight. Karrion Cross is getting met with some light, lefts and some rights. All over the Harbinger of Doom. Ridge Holland is fired up here in the ball arena. Karrion Cross should have been expecting these fireworks from the protege of the Celtic warrior Sheamus, the man who, as you saw in the highlights, was put down by Karrion Cross just a few weeks ago. 
Now Cross looking to slow down this early offense from Ridge Holland. Ridge hot out of the gate tonight, but the harbinger of doom with other plans. Karrion Cross has been in the ring with some of the best of them. He has beaten some of the best of them. And it may include Ridge Holland here tonight. However, Holland getting the shoulder up. Now one thing we have talked about to great lengths over the last couple of weeks is Karrion Cross and Sheamus and their ever-looming rivalry. Two men who seemingly have always found their way back to each other over the last year and change here on Monday Night Raw. Remember, both of them led teams against each other at Survivor Series. The loss for Team Cross on that night really led to Karrion Cross's issues with Kevin Owens, but it seems like over the last few weeks, Cross has reinstituted re his issues with the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Ridge Holland, big time reversal there. That was just a mean shot to the rib cage. Nothing pretty about that, but certainly effective. However, a little too slow to capitalize as carrying Cross back inside the squared circle and dropping Holland on the crown of his head. Carrying Cross took out Sheamus a few weeks ago. Butch got pinned last week. Cross is looking to eliminate the last member of the Brawling Brutes here tonight. Ridge is down and out, and Cross continuing this beatdown. This is what makes Karrion Cross so dangerous. Sometimes very slow and methodical. And sometimes pushes the pace like this, where he's just non-stop strikes, grounds his opponent. Lefts and rights and kicks being thrown. Cross with a versatile arsenal, as we are about to see an F10 on Ridge Holland. That is no small man, and Ridge Holland getting caught, but Cross not done yet. Straight jacket locked in. Holland's trying to find a way to hold on and survive. Cross has got the submission hold locked in tight. As much as Ridge wants to do one good by his mentor, Sheamus, it may not be worth risking further injury. Man, Cross is not letting up. Ridge is in trouble. You see he's trying to fight, move any limb around that he can. Cross will not let up. And Ridge Holland has no choice but to tap out. Ridge Holland gave it a fight tonight here in Denver, Colorado, but Karrion Cross has ran over the Brawling Brutes by hook or by crook, week in and week out over the last month on Raw. And there may be no stopping the Harbinger of Doom. Here is your winner, Karrion. Well, that is a sinister man. And that wicked witch Scarlet in his corner. Carrying cross war path continues. Taking out Sheamus, taking out Butch, taking out Ridge. Oh, whoa! The Celtic Warrior Sheamus blindsiding carrying cross. A bro kick to the man who put him out a number of weeks ago. Sheamus does not forgive, and he certainly will not forget about the damage that Karrion Cross did to him. A bro kick out of nowhere. And, oh, wait a minute. Sheamus is not done. He's got a steel chair. He has not forgotten about the pain Karrion Cross instituted. Sheamus delivering shots to the arm. Sheamus is fired up and he's hell bent on retribution. And another chair shot to the arm. The Celtic Warrior telling Karrion Cross that he better not start fires that he can't put out. Cross wanted a battle. The Celtic Warrior will give him a war. As one season comes to an end, a whole new one begins to blossom. And we kick off a new season with the best of the best from Monday Night Raw and Friday Night Smackdown live and in action. It all begins on Monday, March 11th, as Raw comes your way live from Madison Square Garden in New York City. And then SmackDown heads to the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. An all-new season in the WWE is coming your way, and you haven't seen anything yet. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, Angelo Dawkins, Montez Ford. The Street Profits ambushing the Usos. What the 
hell is this about? The Usos full head of steam to fight the Judgment Day at the show of shows. They could not have been expecting Dawkins and Ford to attack them from behind. We need some answers out of the Street Profits. Clearly unfinished business between these duos. Well, we saw what happened last week on Monday Night Raw. Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford ambushing Jay and Jimmy Uso from behind. And the Street Profits seemingly turning over a new leaf in hopes that they will rise the ranks of the tag team division all over again. Which once seemed like parties and fun may have turned into cockiness and ego out of these two men known as the Street Profits. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Angelo Dawkins, representing the Street Profits from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 232 pounds, Montez Ford. You know, we talked about it throughout the raw side of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford have not seen the competition they would have hoped so have liked over the last year and change here on Monday Night Raw. The Dusty Classic was Ford and Dawkins' opportunity to reclimb the ranks of the tag team division, earn themselves a championship opportunity at WrestleMania. Unfortunately for them, their road to WrestleMania came to a screeching halt back at the Elimination Chamber. The Usos turned away the profits and tag team action in the finals of the Dusty Cup and seemingly that loss has not sat in well with Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. And the Street Profits decided to take matters into their own hands, ambushing the Usos seven nights ago in hopes that they will now be in the conversation for future tag team championship opportunities. Well, at the end of the day, an ambush here, an ambush there. You could talk a lot of game, but you gotta get it done inside of the ring. And Montez Ford has got the pressure on his shoulders here tonight in Denver. And his opponent, accompanied by Jay Uso, representing the Usos from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 251 pounds, Jimmy Uso! Well, the Usos certainly not making a lot of friends since their Monday Night Raw return. I don't think they care because they are on a collision course to WrestleMania Saturday to challenge the Archer of Infamy, Damian Priest as well as the Prince Finn Balor, known as the Judgment Day for the World Tag Team Championship. The Usos returning to Monday Night Raw in the first round of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. They turned away good friends and at one point in their careers, bitter rivals in the New Day in the first round. They took out pretty deadly in the semis and then as we just referred to, turned away the Street Profits in the finals back at the Elimination Chamber. Last week on Raw, we saw the Usos pick up a victory against Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes, but tonight it is singles action as Jimmy Uso looks to settle the score with Montez Ford. And I'll tell you, I'm sure there was a great mutual respect leading into this matchup at the Elimination Chamber, but after the ambush last week, respect goes out the window. Jimmy Uso looking to teach Montez Ford a lesson in respect tonight on the road to WrestleMania. Montez Ford better have came in with an A plan, a B plan, a C, all the way to D. All the way to Z. Let's get that out right. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins. That ambush last week certainly puts a target on their back. They want to get the job done. It's now or never. And Jimmy Uso certainly not leaving Montez any window of opportunity. Came out hot after that opening bell. You got to expect nothing less from the Usos. Their minds obviously on the Judgment Day at WrestleMania, but now have to deal with this issue with the Street Profits, something that Jay and Jimmy could not have been hoping for. Montez Ford looking to play spoiler to the Usos' momentum. Obviously, win, lose, or draw. The Usos have already earned themselves the World Tag Team Championship opportunity at WrestleMania. But tonight, if Montez Ford can turn away Jimmy Uso, you gotta believe the Street Profits will be waiting in the win for whoever the World Tag Team Champions are after we get through AT&T Stadium. Oh my God, Jimmy Uso. Not a fan of the jaw jacking by Montez Ford. That was a mean strike. 
Jimmy not afraid to throw down. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins wanted to brawl last week. The Usos will meet him in the middle. And another kick by Jimmy. Ain't nothing pretty about that. Certainly effective, however, going for the pinfall. Not to be found just yet. Montez Ford realizing in real time what he is in for tonight. And that is a fight with one half of one of the greatest tag teams to ever do it. A veteran of the squared circle in Jimmy Uso. And you got to believe the Usos having trouble focusing on their double task at hand. Obviously so close to their matchup with the Judgment Day on WrestleMania Saturday. But now have to deal with Dawkins and Ford tonight. The Street Profits might have played their cards right. They might have caught the Usos at an opportune time. This may be Ford and Dawkins' best opportunity to climb the ranks in the tag team division once again. Great combination, like it or not, by Montez Ford. Just because I don't agree with the action seven nights ago, I will not discount the talents of those two men. Tag team champions all across the WWE in their time, and Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, I am sure, will hold gold one day again. Right now it is the Usos who hold the claim the number one contendership. And it is the Judgment Day, the two-time World Tag Team Champions, the 2023 Tag Team of the Year that sits atop the division. Tell you what, we have got a hell of a matchup on hands right now. Back and forth, the momentum swings between Jimmy and Montez. Ford set into the corner, certainly not where he wants to be as Jimmy Uso's coming alive. Ford with his back up against the wall and Jimmy Uso looking to back it up. Ooh. Denver all behind Jimmy Uso. Squashing Tez into the corner and that may do it. Not just yet, but certainly a close call. Montez Ford rolling to the outside, trying to create some distance, but maybe he didn't learn from the Elimination Chamber. There is no running, no escaping. The Uso Penitentiary! Over the top, down to the floor. Jimmy Uso looking for a slam dunk here in Ball Arena, the home of the Denver Nuggets. Back inside the squared circle we go. Jimmy controlling this contest here on Monday Night Raw. Montez might have bit off more than he can chew. Wait, there's a counter that time, and Montez Ford dishing out a super kick. Giving Jimmy a taste of his own medicine tonight. But a rung the bell of one half of the number one contenders as he sends him for a ride on the canvas, and Montez Ford could be nearing victory. Another kick. Oh, and Ford could be looking to go from the heavens, but nobody home. Montez Ford a little overzealous. Jimmy Uso caught him. Into the ropes. Down he goes. Ford wanted the from the heavens frog splash. Unfortunately, crashed and burned. And now Tez is in the drop zone for an Uso splash. And that is going to do it. Jimmy Uso, as well as the Uso's momentum overall, Riding a massive wave of momentum on the road to WrestleMania. Well, the Street Profits better go back to the drawing board. They ambushed the Usos last week. They wanted this fight. It unfortunately did not work out. And Jimmy Uso, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I, what the hell? The Judgment Day ambushing the Usos with steel chairs. Man, I knew I heard something in that replay. The World Tag Team Champions ambushing their opponents for WrestleMania Saturday. Anything to get an edge for the two-time World Tag Team Champions.
We're less than two weeks away from AT&T Stadium, the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. And it's coming your way Saturday, March the 2nd, Sunday, March the 3rd, both at 5 p.m. Eastern time. And obviously chaos in the tag team division as tensions running high on the road to WrestleMania. But Jay and Jimmy Uso approach a meeting with the Judgment Day for the World Tag Team Championship in this first time ever tag team collision. From Friday Night SmackDown, six of the world's best cruiserweights will compete in a ladder matchup for the Cruiserweight Championship of the World. The Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov, with his work cut out for him as five challengers are hot on his tail. The badass Braun Breaker looking to make his name at WrestleMania on behalf of the Rated R Superstar Edge. Edge looking to te teach Breaker a lesson in respect. Breaker looking to take his next step in his WWE career. Who will truly be known as the best in the world as the king of pro wrestling, CM Punk, takes on the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. These two men will battle it out, WrestleMania Saturday. As we found out 48 hours ago, Sami Zayn surviving the Eliminator, becoming the number one contender, and all these months later has earned one more round with the defiant LA Knight for the Inner Continental Championship. Also coming your way on WrestleMania Saturday, Liv Morgan surviving the Fatal Five Way last week on Raw. She will challenge the Eradicator, Rhea Ripley, in a Royal Rumble rematch for the WWE Women's Championship. And headlining the Saturday card, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. The rematch he's been waiting for since Survivor Series. He goes one-on-one -on -one with the Ring General, Gunther, for the World Heavyweight Championship. And what about WrestleMania Sunday, just 24 hours later? The Royal Rumble match winner, Kevin Owens, meets the visionary Seth freaking Rollins for the W. WWE Championship. What a main event that is going to be, but what about this action coming your way courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown? The future of flight. Ricochet continues to climb the ranks of the blue brand, and he runs in to the phenomenal AJ Styles for the United States Championship. The Women's World Championship from Friday Night SmackDown. Up for grabs is the Elimination Chamber winner, Raquel Rodriguez takes on the Queen of Spades, Shayna Baszler. Some history between these two women, it all comes to a head on WrestleMania Sunday. And you wanna talk about history, look no further than this matchup between the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, and the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. Cody Rhodes is out for his pound of flesh after Orton tried to end his career last month on SmackDown. And just announced for WrestleMania Sunday, massive six-man tag team matchup Karrion Cross, Joe Gacy, and Baron Corbin will stand alongside each other in a war against the Brawling Brutes. And of course, it is the no-holds-barred matchup between the street champ, Solo Sokoa, and the almighty Bobby Lashley. This story that has been developing since October comes to a head. Anything goes on WrestleMania Sunday. But next week here on Raw, it is the final Raw before we get to WrestleMania and main eventing the night is Champions versus Challengers. Seth Rollins, LA Knight, Battle Sami Zayn, and Kevin Owens. Massive WrestleMania momentum is on the line. And a bit of a WrestleMania preview as one half of the World Tag Team Champions in Finn Balor is set to go one-on-one -on -one with one half of the number one contenders. Main event, Jey Uso. Big time WrestleMania stakes hang in the balance on the final Monday Night Raw before the show of shows live next week. But it is main event time here in the ball arena, Denver, Colorado, just a short trip from the hometown of the almighty Bobby Lashley. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs. Weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. We want to take you back to last week here on Raw when a brawl ensued in the middle of the WWE Universe between Bobby Lashley and Solo Sokoa. 
And as you can see, Lashley getting the best of this fight, putting Solo right through a table down to the concrete floor below. Well, I'll tell you, Lashley and Solo, a story that has been developing since the month of October. Ever since Solo tried to use Bobby Lashley as a stepping stone towards the WWE Championship. Remember these two men and Lashley and Solo Sokoa met Seth Rollins in a triple threat match for the WWE Championship at the Royal Rumble. Lashley was pinned on that night and Solo once again has not forgotten about the Almighty. There is a lot to talk about between those two men, so much history, but tonight history bleeds in to this rematch on the road to the show of shows. And his opponent from Sheryls Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman. Well, next week is the final Raw before WrestleMania, but last month on the final Raw before the Elimination Chamber, the previous number one contender for the WWE title, that being Braun Strowman, went one-on-one -on -one with the almighty Bobby Lashley. Lashley fell to the monster on that night. But as Lashley tries to refocus on his road to WrestleMania, his idea of preparation, I'm not saying I agree with it, is running it back with the monster among monsters. Less than two weeks before WrestleMania, and unknowing of the condition of the almighty Bobby Lashley, not just because of the events of earlier today that we saw at the top of Monday Night Raw, but Lashley and Solo, they've been at each other's throats for weeks. Brawls left and right. There's no way Lashley is coming into this match at 100% tonight. Nonetheless, Lashley wanted this fight here in Denver, Colorado, his home state. And Braun Strowman obviously not going to back down from the challenge. These two monsters meeting, and I'm sure Solo Sokoa is watching this somewhere here in the ball arena. You saw what happened earlier today. Cameras finding a brawl between Lashley and Solo in the backstage area where Solo left Lashley laying. Of course, we showed you moments ago the events of seven nights ago, Lashley putting Solo through the table. About two weeks prior to that, where Solo hit the spinning Solo on Lashley after tossing him off the stage right down to the concrete. I mean, those two men have just been out to destroy each other. It all boils down to Solo going back to trying to use Lashley as a stepping stone towards the WWE Championship. Lashley won in revenge, led into the Royal Rumble, where Lashley was pinned by Rollins, and Solo obviously did not forget that. And about 24 hours later on Monday Night Raw, that battle royal where Braun Strowman became the number one contender for the WWE Championship. Lashley and Solo were involved in that. Lashley eliminated Solo from that matchup. The street champ Solo Sokoa looks at the almighty Bobby Lashley as his ultimate roadblock to getting what he wants, and that's championship gold here on Monday Night Raw. At WrestleMania, their fight comes to a head, and it's going to be no holds barred, and hopefully somebody's just finally going to get the last laugh, and they can put this whole situation behind them. Nonetheless, Braun Strowman not interested in Bobby Lashley's WrestleMania affairs. Lashley wanted a fight. Braun Strowman willing to give it to him tonight. Braun, unfortunately, coming up short on his road to WrestleMania, trying to take down Seth Rollins for the WWE Championship at the Elimination Chamber. Great matchup between those two men where Strowman almost had Rollins on a few occasions, but unfortunately, the visionary, as we always talk about, always finds a way to win, and he found a way to keep down the monster numerous weeks ago. Braun Strowman's road to WrestleMania might have came to a halt on that night. But Braun Strowman now looks to tonight here on Monday Night Raw, trying to get through Bobby Lashley and start down a new path. The Almighty's got different plans, scale in the middle rope, and Lashley trying to get creative with the offense to try to find a way to beat the man that beat him last month here on Raw. Gotta commend the effort of the Almighty Lashley Challenging the monster to this matchup here tonight, less than two weeks before that no holds barred matchup with Solo Sokoa at WrestleMania. Bobby Lashley's never been one to turn away a fight. Solo Sokoa gonna find that out at the grandest stage of them all on WrestleMania Sunday. Braun Strowman's finding that out firsthand right now, but the monster among monsters, just a different breed inside of that ring. 
Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, as you just found out, next week on Raw, the final Monday Night Raw before WrestleMania, one half of the World Tag Team Champions, Finn Balor, set the lock horns with Jay Uso, and you saw what just happened moments ago, the Judgment Day laying out the Usos with those steel chairs. The Usos have got a target on their back, and it ain't going away on their road to the show of, sh show of shows. Also signed for next week, it is Champions versus Challengers, as the Royal Rumble match winner, Kevin Owens teams alongside with his best friend Sami Zayn to take on the Intercontinental Champion LA Knight as well as the WWE Champion Seth freaking Rollins. All that action and more coming your way next week but meanwhile Strowman looking for victory. Lashley survives another moment longer. These two monsters throwing live rounds you expect nothing less. Braun Strowman looking to build some newfound momentum for himself here on Raw, possibly earning a future championship opportunity after WrestleMania. Lashley looking for his victory back, but I don't know if that's going to be in the mirror for Bobby Lashley tonight. Getting dropped right on the hardest part of the ring, but it's both the almighty Bobby Lashley who's turning the tables at ringside. Once again, you gotta wonder the condition of Lashley. Last week, during that brawl with Solo Sokoa, he had a little bit of tape around the rib cage. Obviously, coming out without it tonight. I don't know if that's a strategic move to try to take the target off his back. But at the end of the day, damage is done. Damage is done, and Lashley feeling it in this fight with Strowman right now. Looks like he might have been going to get Strowman counted out. Any means necessary for victory, I guess. But Braun Strowman back in the ring. Running power slam to the almighty. Into the cover. And Lashley somehow able to kick out. Muscle up the shoulders. But Braun Strowman with some huge damage done in this matchup. Oh, look at this. Look at Strowman manhandling Bobby Lashley. Very few men, if any, are able to do that. Ron Strowman is a rare breed inside of that ring, and Lashley once again finding out why. It may come back to haunt Lashley for challenging Braun Strowman to this matchup less than two weeks before WrestleMania. Lashley being ragdolled from pillar to post inside of the ring. There's a counter that time and using a massive headbutt to get Strowman off his back. Oh, wait a minute. Money just fired up the monster and choke slam. Braun Strowman will not be denied here tonight. Bobby Lashley's hurt and Braun Strowman looking to run over his prey here tonight. Oh, wait a minute. Big time counter, back suplex by Bobby. Both men charging at each other. These two monsters all over each other. Bobby Lashley cannot find a way to keep down Braun Strowman for more than a couple of seconds. The monster still reeling. Oh no, into the corner and, oh no, with Bobby Lashley, I don't like this. Damn near 500 pounds between these two men up on the ropes. Look out below. A 500 pound superplex and the ring just imploded. You have got to be kidding me. What did we just see between the almighty and the monster among monsters? I think we heard a bell. I think the victory has been awarded to the almighty. I cannot believe my eyes. Bobby Lashley in the, in the, just the state that he's been in with this fight with Solo Sokoa just muscled up Braun Strowman and the entire ring just imploded in the middle of the ball arena. Lashley awarded the victory by TKO. Will Bobby Lashley be able to survive Solo Sokoa at WrestleMania.
Get taste on when I chase like that. Yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise. You can hate on that. I don't play both sides. Don't need no cap. I'm a rapper.